Hello, so this is simple ways to speak with confidence. Speaking with confidence and authority is grounded on preparation and planning. Going in without a plan is scary, even for the most self-assured presenter. Fortunately, you don't need to be a natural leader to speak with authority or the queen of self-esteem to speak with confidence. With a little practice, anyone can begin to speak with authority and confidence. Whether you hope to ace a meeting, improve your presentation skills, or project more or make your project more powerful and authority when speaking, consider the following tips. So one, take ownership of the room. Speaking from a place of strength and authority is mostly a mental game. Once you are in a room, recognize that you belong there. When you feel confident and comfortable, it's infectious. Two, stand like a champion. Give presenters, give presentations and making speeches is very physical. When on stage or standing before a group of people, use the champion stance. So you wanna position one foot in front of the other, place your weight on your back foot, Hold your head up high, drop your shoulders back, and lean your torso slightly forward and smile. Tailor your message to the audience. When approaching a presentation, a common mistake is to focus on exactly what you plan to say. With little consideration of the audience, consider what your audience needs to hear and how much they already know about the topic first. By understanding your audience and telling stories in a way that transports them, they can experience and visualize the impact of the message. Four, get to the point. Your competition is the attention span. Rambling, unfocused speeches will earn you a few supporters, earn you very few supporters. A powerful presentation stays on message, is made up of short sentences and a few and few asides and get to the point quickly. Replace um with stronger filter words. In the moment, it's hard not to say oh, um, well, you try to gather your thoughts. Instead, try to place it with stronger filler words. When you need to gather your thoughts, use words such as now, you see, however, etc. The sentence, um, I was thinking suddenly sounds much more Definitive and powerful when slightly adjusted to, you see, I was thinking, it sounds intentional and intention instills confidence. So then I have six, don't overcomplicate it. The quickest way to know whether or not someone knows what they're talking about is to pay attention to how many industry specific words they use. If their vocabulary is a fashion show of insider ad adjectives, chances are they are speaking more from a place of theory and less from a place of experience. Great speakers and people who carry themselves well know how to get to the point. They don't dance around it. They say what needs to be said and leave it to that. If you use language that leaves your audience confused, you aren't impressing them, you're frustrating them. Keep it simple. Seven, don't swear. Unless you've built a reputation or a persona around your edgy delivery, nine times out of 10, it's best to leave the sailor's mouth at home. When it comes to leading a room, it is in your best interest to keep the energy and the flow as positive as possible, unless you know your audience very well. You never know where a misplaced word can lead. Don't add in an extra variable. That doesn't need to be there. This doesn't mean you have to keep your language G-rated. Say what you need to say in a way it needs to be said. And finally, tell a story. As well told stories can turn a room. Stories are how we relate to each other. Stories are what ignite our imagination and turn a thought into a feeling or an idea into reality. Whether you're in, you are explaining a data point or hitting at the outcomes of a campaign. Whatever the case may be, be descriptive. Bring what you were talking about to life and let the other people um, in the room be part of it. A presentation or a speech or even a single sentence 
with the added element of story becomes an experience.